This year, it is estimated that the risk of an Australian man being diagnosed with prostate cancer by his 85th birthday is 1 in 7. That equates to almost 17,000 men being diagnosed this year, and 12.7% of all cancer-related deaths. Despite extensive investigations, the underlying mechanisms of prostate cancer development still remain elusive, and based on the obvious urgency, novel therapeutic targets remain a major area of research. Our team is focusing on microRNA and its ability to alter the normal cellular administration of apoptosis, tissue invasion and proliferation, thereby promoting prostatic carcinogenesis. MicroRNA is an essential component of cell function and regulation. Once transcribed, microRNA undergoes a series of nuclear processing and is exported into the cytoplasm by export in 5 via a nuclear pore. In the cytoplasm, it is shortened by the enzyme DISA, followed by its association with AGO2, causing the double-stranded RNA to unwind and release one of the strands. This combination of the single-strand microRNA and AGO2 forms the RNA-induced silencing complex, also known as RISC. Once the RISC complex is formed, it is able to undergo its primary function of inactivating messenger RNA. This occurs by base pairing of the microRNA in the risk complex to specific mRNA strands and then undergoing one of the two possible mechanisms. The first specific proteins in the risk such as the AGO2 cleave the mRNA and the products undergo degradation in the exosome. The other mechanism results from the risk complex sitting on the mRNA and preventing attachment of the ribosome in a process known as translation inhibition. This inactivation of mRNA often associates with processes such as metabolism, cell proliferation, cell cycle control, apoptosis and development, and is a crucial regulatory mechanism to inhibit cells becoming cancerous. Our proposed target is a recently discovered microRNA cluster 130B to 310B which is encoded in the genome of cells and carries out a homeostatic function by silencing target mRNA. However, in a range of prostate cancer cell lines, the promoter region encoding this miRNA has been found to be hypermethylated and thus prevents the binding of transcription factors. As a result, the microRNA 130B to 310B expression levels are reduced and the target messenger RNA is not silenced, causing this cellular homeostasis to be disrupted. These prostate cancer cells express a variety of cancer hallmarks including decreased apoptosis, shown by a reduced expression of CASP3, 8 and 9, as well as increased invasive ability highlighted by a decrease in the cell adhesion protein CD44. They also had an increased cell viability due to the role of reduced expression of cell cycle proteins P21 and P27, as well as increased proliferation. Because these cancer cells express these hallmarks, they are capable of being infiltrative, rapid, long-lived and malignant as they are. Although the exact messenger RNA targeted by the microRNA 130B, 310B cluster remains unidentified, its ability to reduce these hallmarks of cancer when overexpressed while also forcing the cancer cells into senescence reassures its capability as a target. In prostagene therapy, we will be using gene therapy to introduce therapeutic microRNA into prostate cancer cells. Our drug consists of self-assembled polymeric micelles formed by the aggregation of amphiphilic lipid molecules. The genome of the microRNA, with a promoter region that is less likely to be methylated, lies within the hydrophobic core of the micelle. Integrase enzyme is added to the micelle to allow for the integration of the therapy gene into the human genome. Along with the clusters, molecules of supraparamagnetic iron oxide are added to visualise drug movement under MRI scanning. A ligand for prostate-specific membrane antigen is made using phage code sequencing from a database of over 20,000 human proteins. Phage code sequencing involves making a peptide motif that is complementary to surface antigen on prostate cancer cells, and this is done using single-stranded RNA from a bacteriophage. A method of drug delivery is via transurethral injection that involves a needle passing through a cytoscope with the head curved in the axial plane for better access to the prostate. The cytoscope allows a surgeon to guide the needle head into the prostate to avoid delivery to another structure such as the urethra or the bladder. 
The cytoscope also helps prevent tissue damage, allows constant irrigation, and helps have constant visual monitoring. After drug delivery, micelles home to prostate cancer cells with the help of antigen-recognizing ligand. Micelles bind to a surface antigen and are endocytosed into membrane-bound vesicles called endosomes. The pH within the endosome is less than 5, allowing the micelle to dissociate in the acidic environment and release microRNA genome and iron oxide molecules into the cell cytoplasm.